Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be talking about Netflix. I did a video like this, I don't know, a couple of months ago. Was it a year? No. Eight, maybe months ago on how, how to, what to watch on Netflix with my recommendations, what I enjoyed and I thought it was maybe time for another one because I have a few more series and quite a bit of movies to recommend to you. Let's jump into it. So I have my laptop here just so I don't forget anything and I think one of the first series I'm gonna talk about is Emily in Paris which it was quite big at some point like on Instagram like when it came out I mean Instagram like everyone seemed to be talking about it and I watched it because I was yeah, looking for something like more lightweight lightweight if you can tell uh, if you can call it that like you know not too serious and basically it was a woman that um, because of the job she moves to Paris and about her life there which is kind of crazy ish it's a lot of um, fashion if you if you're into that kind of stuff she wears some interesting outfits you can see Paris and I think it's a nice like series to just chill with and you don't have to think about the plot or you know nothing too serious so if you're into that then you're gonna like Emily in Paris something that I actually didn't recommend last time I think and I'm trying to figure out how I missed that one is Brooklyn Nine-Nine I think it's because uh, I didn't know if there were new seasons coming but it's a comedy uh, episodes are very really short because I think they're around 20-25 minutes each it's a comedy about police agents basically and it's hilarious <laughs> I mean it's just give it a try if you don't like it after the first two episodes then it's just not your sense of humor but it's a it's really really cool uh, comedy series one for people who have a lot of time as in you you're not afraid to start a new series that has like six or seven seasons I think it's Blacklist and how do I explain it? this is about a very complicated relationship between some police people and a criminal I just don't want to give away like anything of the plot to be honest um, yeah, it's let's just say police working with a criminal. That's and and you find out about it in the first episode. So I'm not giving spoilers away, I'm not giving anything away, but just um, I don't want to say too much. But if you want to look into this, maybe just try to read that, read up about it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, anyway. But I I do warn you, it's like seven seasons and around. By season 5 or something there's like a crisis in the series like you kind of thinking like where are you going with this like or it's just like doesn't feel right but then it goes it it gets better you just have to kind of get through uh, like a couple of episodes anyway enough about blacklist also I'm gonna list them in the description below okay uh, another series that think okay if you didn't watch it yet maybe you're still not convinced but it's the Queen's Gambit and even though I am not really like a chess fan and I'm still not a chess fan like uh, you know after this watching the series but I think it's really worth watching it just for the story it's it's a complicated story there's a lot of depth in, in it and it's just kind of grips you and you want to know more about it don't know if that really makes sense but yeah uh, if you weren't still convinced about the Queen's Gambit I do highly recommend you check it out another one that uh, we recently watched is Undercover actually we watched it mainly because it's a Belgian Dutch series and it's for me to kind of listen more to to, to the language and like also with subtitles to read it um, it's a really good series. Actually, my brother also watched it, my mom as well. 
and it's really unfair because my brother is in Holland, my parents are in Poland and they've seen season 2 and we're in Belgium the series is made in Belgium there's only one season on Netflix and it says the second season is coming I'm like, excuse me <laughs> like, this series has been made in this country? where is it? so that's just kind of the annoying part about it but as you can imagine, Undercover is about police uh, going undercover to get to a drug dealer. That's as much as I'm going to say. Uh, so if you don't mind hearing a different language, something maybe you don't know, uh, it's definitely worth checking out. If you're into um, home stuff, home renovation, check out Dream Home Makeover. I do feel like it's a little bit over the top like obviously you know they're gonna show the most beautiful homes and everything but if you just like to look at some um, like you know designs and stuff and just have people change the spaces in the houses then it's something for you maybe for some inspiration um, it's also I think short episodes so if you're into that kind of stuff do check it out last series is you either hate it or love it it's Bridgerton and it's kind of like a gossip girl but in I think it's 19th century um, yeah that's kind of it it's a lot of drama happening and uh, some people say it's like stupid for me it's a good like again turn off your brain kind of chill and watch it and it's uh, one season but the episodes are quite long, they vary from like 45 minutes to an hour or something so uh, keep that in mind but it's definitely worth, uh, worth a look if you like Gossip Girl um, also it's some cool, it's a bit different than everything else that you watch in you know, a different century I, I, I like it personally, I enjoyed it and it took my mind off of things so I do recommend it and now quickly a few movies I'm gonna recommend first of all is The Social Dilemma yeah the social, the social Dilemma is a movie about like kind of the ugly side of the social media and it's um, I think for someone that is not aware of any of the dangers of social media like at all it's a good movie to watch to kind of open your eyes for me, I knew some of those things, obviously some are maybe a little bit exaggerated at times but it's definitely um, worth to watch it, I would say I have here written down Otherhood and Love Wedding Repeat which I think they were both kind of comedies and I don't remember much of them but if they're on the list, I must have liked them but they're more, I think both of them are more like um, light-hearted movies you know for like a relaxing evening nothing too too serious tag is also quite a um, cool movie also more comedy the coldest game i think that was also about chess let me check yeah it was about chess but um uh, it's during the cuban missile crisis um it's a u.s soviet chess match and the deadly game of espionage so it is chess in like the foreground but in the background it's more about political things so if that sounds like something that you would enjoy then check it out then we recently I think literally like yesterday or two days ago we watched Outside the Wire which is about um, I think it was two 2036 it takes place uh, like in the future and it's a war in the East Europe and it's about people and robot and some artificial intelligence and it's also involved and about what could be happening so I mean obviously it's fiction like you know but um, it was a good movie it was a good movie Something again lighthearted is the Kissing Booth and the Kissing Booth 2. Both good like romantic um, comedies. Yeah, romantic comedies. Both good ones. Then a holiday. Uh, it was popular around Christmas because um, people it's marketed kind of like a Christmas movie. 
but it's not really. Christmas is like um, Christmas plays a very small part in the movie, so you can also definitely watch it uh, now if you like to. And the last one I'm gonna recommend is David Attenborough, A Life on Our Planet, and it's a um, documentary about nature and where we're going, where everything is going, and. Other than the beautiful views, it makes you think a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Anyway, these are my recommendations on what to watch on Netflix. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you've seen any of these things, let me know what you think. If you have any recommendations of uh, your own, please uh, let me know. And I hope you like this video. If you did, please give, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe not to miss my other ones and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!